half an hour to walk you all through some of our insights and best practices around the SEO technology buy-in process. Um, just before we get started, I guess, in terms of some housekeeping, uh, in order to keep us all from talking over top of each other, we've muted all the attendees today. I uh, certainly encourage you all to post your questions to uh, the questions portion of the, uh, the GoToWebinar. Uh, we'll hopefully have some time at the end to work through and address as many of those questions uh, as we can. If not, uh, we're certainly always available to sync up with anyone afterwards to, to make sure that your questions uh, are addressed. So hopefully everyone can uh, see the screen okay. Um, just by way of short introduction, just to give you some insight to the voice on the other end of the phone, uh, my name is Ryan Crombean. I am the Director of Sales and Marketing here at G-Shift. Um, I guess why I'm uh, the one that was nominated to deliver this to you today is that uh, I've spent the last 10 years in the technology software sales, uh, and I guess what that has provided me is a very good insight into that buying process. Um, the luxury that that provides is understanding what a lot of those questions are that people uh, often don't ask uh, and, and quite often miss when going through that evaluation process. Obviously all of your jobs and expertise is more so uh, around marketing and, and SEO and it's not in uh, what is the evaluation and buying process of technology. So really what we our aim is today is to educate you a little bit uh, off of the thousands of evaluation cycles that we've been through with our clients uh, is to share some of those insights with you as to what are a lot of the trends, a lot of the things that people uh, overlook uh, and don't often ask when evaluating vendors and technology in this space. Um, just to give you a quick uh, snapshot of what we're looking to walk through today, uh, I want to spend a, a few minutes just kind of setting the stage on the SEO technology landscape and sharing some insights on market trends with you. Uh, a lot of this stuff might be things that, that people have seen before, but if it's new to you, I think it'll uh, shed uh, some insight uh, on some interesting statistics when you start to look at this. Very simply from there, we're going to share some insights on uh, what we recommend looking for when you're looking to partner with a vendor uh, on any marketing technology or any software technology for that matter, but specifically in the SEO space. Uh, what are some common questions that you should be thinking about uh, and asking when evaluating an SEO vendor? Uh, and uh, we're going to share some insights with you off of a survey that we've done as to what your peers uh, value as important in that process. Finally, just want to wrap up with sharing with you um, some additional resources that, that we have planned to publish and have already published uh, to help educate you as you, as you arm yourself to uh, at some point in time go through this vendor selection process. So moving forward, just wanted to share uh, with you some, uh, some insight into the SEO technology landscape. Uh, as many of you have may, may have seen the, the graphic that's up there, I don't think there is a uh, a size that I could amplify this to that would allow everybody to see this without giving you all magnifying glasses. Um, but um, this is a, a graph illustrating all of the technology that's available uh, in the marketing technology space. Um, by no doubt, uh, it is a very complex and a very crowded space. Uh, making the job for you when evaluating and selecting that technology and the combination of technology a very ominous task. Um, so uh, I just wanted to acknowledge the fact that this is a very complicated task for you to select that and it's something that's getting more and more complex by the day. This graph alone has more than doubled in the last, uh, the last 12 months. Uh, again, just giving you that many more choices for that many that much more functionality. Um, as you can imagine, narrowing down this uh, list to a platform of vendors that you would like to talk to, to in certain categories is only the first step. Um, what we're hoping to illuminate for you today is uh, what are some of those things in the next step? What questions should you ask and how, how should you compare uh, when going through that process? Just some insights into the market that I wanted to share with you. Um, a lot of people, or, or what we've heard uh, from a lot of people, is kind of the notion that SEO is dead. Um, and uh, the graphic that I'm sharing with you here is um, out of the state of search marketing report that was just issued by Sempo over the past week, uh, and is actually some graphical results after pulling 500 search marketers. Uh, and the interesting thing that you see here is that a large majority uh, 
uh, still uh, indicate that search engine optimization is very high on their priority list over other things. Um, so uh, the, the whole notion of SEO being dead or being a backseat priority to a lot of other uh, efforts um, is um, obviously not true. Uh, wanted to share with you, obviously, uh, some challenges, as you can see on the slide here, that were outlined in that very same report. Um, I don't think there's uh, uh, any um, uncorrelation, if that's a word, between these two. But you can see uh, in the top red box there that um, that uh, brands or marketers at brands has, have really indicated that measuring the ROI of the SEO efforts uh, is of utmost importance to them over other challenges. And on the flip side of that, from an agency standpoint, getting budget for those SEO efforts uh, is uh, of utmost importance. So obviously go those two go hand in hand, and I'm sure uh, very important to, to each one. Uh, and as you'll see in some of the, the questions uh, to ask, um, this is something you certainly want to make a, a pointed question or evaluation topic for you when evaluating a platform. Last piece of market data that, that I wanted to share with you, and I apologize for the fuzzy graphic here, but it's, it's pulled out of the same uh, sample report here, um, was actually very surprising to us. Um, you can see here that almost 75% of people either fell into the camp of uh, we are not using any technology or we have a pri proprietary tool. Um, and a lot of the people that we talk to in evaluations that indicate they're using a proprietary tool uh, that's just their nice way of saying they really built out a fancy Excel spreadsheet. Um, so the, the large majority of the market um, is, is still not using technology to help address something uh, that, that is uh, indicated as a very large priority. Um, with the way technology has evolved and, and the efficiencies and the ROI that it can deliver, certainly huge opportunity and commend you all for uh, putting the time and effort into uh, understanding how to best go through that process so that ultimately you can understand how technology can help. So moving into some of the insights that we wanted to share with you, um, first question we wanted to address are what are some of the things that, that I want to look for in an F SEO software provider? Um, the first thing that, that we noticed uh, the very successful evaluators uh, look for is that of partnership. Um, I think quite often when people are evaluating vendors, they, they look for just that, is uh, how can you support selling this to me? Um, but, but what we'd really suggest is looking for somebody that, that is bought into a partnership and is vested in your success. Um, one of uh, many different indicators that you can look for that is, is that of a client success manager or a post-sales success process. Um, certainly something that a lot of people don't think of when going through the evaluation process, but something that uh, helps indicate how uh, vested a vendor is in a partnership and also in your ongoing success. Second question uh, or insight that we'd like to share um, is, is ask about in innovation. Um, going back to that graphic that you saw in the second slide with the marketing technology landscape, uh, it, the market in which we all live in, uh, especially around technology, is a very dynamic and ever-changing environment. Um, the last thing that anybody wants to do is invest in a technology uh, and a vendor uh, and have that technology obsolete 30 days after you invest in it. So one of the questions that we also uh, we often uh, encourage people to ask and, and evaluate is, what is the innovation that that vendor is delivering to you? Um, and while some vendors may be hesitant to share their future roadmap with you, um, the proof is always in the past, so it's, it's always a good idea to look back and ask uh, what features uh, have they delivered to their clients over the past 12 months, uh, and how has that technology grown with the market over time. Um, a second piece to that is not just have they done it, but how, how do they do it? Do they seek client input to do that, or is there a bunch of developers locked in a room that are making those decisions on what the market needs? Um, in, in our experience and in my experience across a, a few different companies, the ones that are the most successful are the ones that are able to listen to the needs of their, comp their customers and their clients and work those into the innovation uh, roadmap for the platform. The last 
Last insight we wanted to share with you on uh, on this is uh, ROI, and I know that's kind of a, a general term here, um, but the, the the question needs to be asked, uh, and and uh, I'm sure before any investment is made uh, in any area of your business, ROI is always a question that's asked on Semen. Having a vendor and a partner uh, that can work with you to prove an ROI uh, is something that is very important. Uh, there, it shows uh, a vested interest in the success of the technology as opposed to the sale of the technology. Um, so those are three things I think beyond just the functionality of the product uh, and what it does for your business that, that we'd really encourage you to uh, look for uh, when evaluating uh, an SEO uh, provider. Moving on to the, uh, actually sorry, I'm going to pause uh, just before we do that. One of the things that we wanted to do, uh, and we'll certainly share all these results with everyone that's, that's on the line as we will some, some other surveys that we've done, uh, I'd like to pause just for a minute and uh, quickly poll uh, the attendees that we have on here. Um, you know, assuming most of you use current SEO technology of some sort, uh, or other technology in your, your digital efforts. Uh, we wanted to see uh, just how engaged you were with kind of that post sales team from that provider uh, and how vested they are in your ongoing client success. So I'll, uh, I'll pause here and run a poll. You'll see the options come up there, but uh, if we could give everybody 30 or 45 seconds just to complete this, uh, we will continue on uh, after that. Great, thanks for uh, thanks for participating in that, uh, folks. Um, I will. Uh, oh, sorry. I guess you guys need to see my screen again. Perfect. Hopefully, everybody can see that. Um, uh, just wanted to share some uh, initial results of that. We'll certainly uh, make these available to you all after, but. Uh, the number one answer on that was uh, once or month or more. So 43% of people uh, seem to be quite engaged with that. So uh, awesome that everyone uh, has that support. Um, uh, I guess surprisingly, in, and uh, um, sharing with you a lot more of the uh, results here, 34% uh, uh, say they're never engaged. So certainly something that I think those folks um, uh, can can um, attest to that having that engagement hopefully has uh, impacted the success uh, of your adoption of that tool. So moving on, um, wanted to talk about some questions, some specific questions, and uh, very much like uh, the things that you want to look for in that provider. Uh, by no means are these three questions as, as an exhaustive list of the things that you want to ask, but certainly uh, some of the big questions that we see specific to SEO um, that, that uh, the evaluations that end up with the most success, these are the questions that those people are asking. Um, and the first, per the, the first one is, is just really understanding and asking, uh, does the platform have a web presence centric approach? Uh, I'm sure anybody that's been S and in SEO for an extended amount of time can, at can attest that uh, SEO is, is no longer uh, just optimizing uh, organic site traffic. It is really about optimizing an, uh, a brand's complete social presence and discoverability. Uh, a stat that, that we've seen a lot, and I'm sure if anyone's read uh, Gartner, Forrester, or HBR articles recently, uh, is that 60% of brands' interactions uh, actually occur from off-site content. So having a platform that can really uh, encompass that complete web presence uh, is something you'll you'll really want to ask because as SEO evolves, uh, so does the definition of where we want to look to maximize uh, our discoverability. 
second question, and I think this uh, probably is a little bit of common sense, but uh, we are always surprised by the amount of people uh, that, that this does not enter the arena of conversations when working through an evaluation. Um, but understanding and asking if the platform has competitive, competitive intelligence and search visibility. Uh, we are, as I mentioned, always surprised by the number of people that uh, only want to understand how they're ranking for their keywords uh, and, and search volume. Um, but an emerging um, group of uh, evaluations are actually placing even more importance on understanding the visibility and discoverability of uh, their competitors, understanding what keywords they're being found for, how they're being found, where they're being found, uh, understanding the performance of their social profiles uh, so that they can tailor and alter their strategies to try to get a share of that conversation uh, that they may not be a part of. So really just understanding uh, the competitive landscape and, and that search visibility is something uh, we highly encourage you to ask and explore uh, beyond just that of uh, gaining metrics uh, on your own discoverability. Uh, finally, uh, as a, a third question, is understanding and asking what keyword, keyword research insights the platform, platform has to offer. Um, and, and this has really emerged out of a trend that the people, especially in enterprise that produce content, are not always the people socializing it and distributing it. Um, being able to uh, comb a piece of content to understand what keywords it should be optimized for and then giving your social teams or the folks distributing it the ability to uh, use an SEO tool to be able to search and maximize the keywords that are put in that distribution um, to maximize search visibility is certainly something that uh, is, is of utmost importance and uh, uh, not often something that I think a lot of people ask when going through that evaluation. So those are just three um, questions that, that we wanted to give you some insight on, uh, probably outside of the core questions that you'd all expect to ask, but hopefully that uh, gives you some insight into some additional questions that you can ask to really expand uh, the scope of that evaluation. Uh, to ultimately uh, provide you a tool that gives you the most value. Um, wanted to pause for uh, one quick other poll question, um, and we will share again this with you and, and some other survey results, but wanted to pull the audience quickly here on um, what is the leading factor uh, when selecting that SEO software marketing technology. So if I can pause for uh, another 15 seconds here, uh, you'll see the poll come up and we'll resume in a few seconds. Great, well thanks for uh, participating in that. Interesting to see the results. Um, it, it's funny, we actually ran this poll uh, two years ago on this and uh, price was 75% uh, of what people evaluated it for in the recent poll uh, that we just ran uh, there a few seconds ago. Uh, price is only 26% as the most important factor. So certainly um, I would say aligns with the way technology has developed. Um, price as it relates to ROI is certainly important, uh, but understanding the feature set uh, not only to give you what you need, uh, but also to expand the capabilities of what you can do with the platform is becoming a, uh, a growing importance to people when going through these evaluations. Um, wanted to share with you uh, the top three survey results of a recent survey that we did. Um, uh, we asked uh, over 100 digital marketing professionals um, which SEO software features mattered most to them. 
Uh, we have a comprehensive list of 17 which we will be sharing over the coming days so we'll certainly encourage you all to review that in much more detail but wanted to give you a, a quick peek on that as to what uh, your peers were asking for and saying as the, the most important features. Obviously keyword research, kind of the core feature that, that I think a lot of people would expect in here. Uh, the reporting option, uh, um, both reports, ad hoc and scheduled was uh, of utmost important. And then ultimately uh, the ease of use factoring into uh, a lot of people's decisions. So uh, again, kind of a snippet of the results, the top three results of that uh, survey. Um, certainly look forward to sharing that in a lot more depth with you. Uh, over the coming days and hopefully uh, you can all find that valuable to get some insights from uh, your peers going through a similar evaluation process. So just uh, as we come up on uh, the half hour here, uh, just wanted to kind of recap on what we talked about. Obviously what we uh, what we want to look for and, and not just to read off the screen here for you, but uh, that partnership, that innovation and that commitment to uh, a jointly beneficial ROI is certainly something uh, that you want to uh, look for. Uh, questions you want to ask, um, obviously uh, beyond those of just the core functionality um, that allows you to uh, leverage the technology in the way in which digital marketing and SEO is evolving in the future. Um, and then some insight into what's important into people that are, are making these evaluations and uh, technology decisions all the time. Again, lots more detail on that what's important piece as it relates to that survey and, and peers of yours uh, to be released over the coming days. So just wrapping up, um, hopefully that uh, wasn't too exhaustive but, but gave you at least a little insight into some of the things that, that we've garnered from the hundreds and thousands of evaluations that we've worked through with, uh, with clients um, to understand some of the things that are important to look for, some of the things that are important to ask, and some of the things that are important to your peers as they go through those uh, evaluations. Um, for those of you that have seen it, uh, we've got a lot of content that we are supporting this with and, and hopefully is all stuff that you guys can consume and find valuable uh, as you start to prepare yourself for either current or future evaluations around this. Uh, there's been a blog post that's been published around uh, relationship rewards for an SEO software partnership. Uh, we're going to have a buyer's companion guide that is released over the coming days uh, along with the full results of that survey and a more exhaustive list uh, of questions to ask. So uh, hopefully this was a good introduction to some of that content uh, and we'd encourage you all to consume that uh, as you start to um, enter into those evaluations or continue ones that you are currently in. So with that, um, four minutes shy of uh, our half hour, uh, I wanted to uh, end this, uh, but certainly available, and we will go to kind of some of the questions right now, uh, address any of those, and uh, again, more than happy uh, if it is a specific question uh, that our account executives or anyone on our team here can help with. Um, our, our job is not to sell you software, our job is to help you buy it and if we can educate you uh, in that process at all, uh, we're certainly uh, more than happy uh, to help. So with that, I will uh, close this up and we'll go to the questions to see uh, what we can